Age of Miracles. We didn't notice it right away. We couldn't feel it. Days of Destruction. A group of five men and three women are seated cross-legged in a small circle in the shade of a flat roof brown building in White Clay, Nebraska. They are drinking 24-ounce cans of malt liquor. Three other men are passed out on the sidewalk, one alone and two lying next to each other. Kind of how we're going to be later on here this evening, here in Seattle. <laughs> Fooling Houdini. In the foyer of a hotel in downtown Stockholm, a stunning 22-year-old Belgian girl with pale green eyes and long chestnut curls had attracted a small crowd. As well she should have. Shadow and Bone. The servants called them Malenchki, little ghosts, because they were the smallest and the youngest, and because they haunted the Duke's house like giggling phantoms, darting in and out of rooms, hiding in cupboards to eavesdrop, sneaking into the kitchen to steal the last of the summer peaches. Oh, I like that. The Lost Bank. Always an early riser, Steve Rotella arrived at Wamu just before 7 a.m. on September 25th, 2008. The autumn morning was cool and dark. That's a nice line, right? Gone Girl, number six. When I think of my wife, I always think of her head, the shape of it to begin with. Wow. The watch. One, two, three, four. I count the moments and say the basalma in my head. I heard a line uh, earlier this evening. One, two, dexedrine, floor. Tell the wolves I'm home. My sister Greta and I were having our portrait painted by our uncle Finn that afternoon because he knew he was dying. Oh, that's a great first line. That's a fantastic first line. I'll do it again. My sister Greta and I were having our portrait painted by our uncle Finn that afternoon because he knew he was dying. Nice. Eat and run. My brain was on fire, my body was burning up. Into the darkest corner. As far as ways to die were concerned, the longest day of the year was as good a day as any.